so um, we do need to do power pellets, but another thing that we're going to do right before that is we are going to get the ghosts out of scatter mode. So right now they stay in scatter mode, but um, they're going to have to cycle between scatter and chase mode. If we go back to this website that I had earlier, we can see we are in scatter for 7 seconds, then chase for 20, and it does it a few more times. So there's quite a bit of setup to get this working, but it's fairly simplistic. We need an array of integers, ghost mode timers, and this array is going to have all of those numbers. So 7, 27, 25, 25. Um, and that's just the numbers here, 7, 27, 25, 25. Um, and then after that, we switch to chase permanently. So what we're going to do is have public int ghost mode timer index. So when we start out, it's going to be zero. So we're going to set that in our setup. Ghost mode timer index equals zero. Um, and so the zero index of this is seven. Then we need to actually keep track of the time. So we're going to public float ghost mode timer. Just set that to zero, which actually we will set to zero in setup. Ghost mode timer equals, whoops. Ghost mode timer equals zero. Okay. Then we need to determine whether or not we're running the timer. And whether or not the timer has been completed. So we don't want to be running the timer when the ghost is in frightened mode. We want it to pause. So that's why we have this running timer. So once we grab a power pellet, running timer will be set to false. And then once the power pellet expires, it'll go back to true. And completed will just stop the timer from running once we've reached the end of this list. Okay, so we're going to go to update and we're going to say if is running game, our game is running, then return, just like we've done everywhere else. We're going to say if not completed timer and running timer. We're going to say ghost mode timer plus equals time dot delta time. If ghost mode timer is greater than or equal to ghost mode timers, ghost mode tim timer index, then set ghost timer back to zero. We're going to add one to ghost timer index. And then we need to reverse whatever mode we're in. So we're going to say if current ghost mode equals ghost mode dot chase current ghost mode equals ghost mode dot scatter else current ghost mode equals ghost mode dot chase then we're going to say if ghost mode timer index equals ghost mode timers dot length then we have reached the end of the array. So we're going to set completed timer equal to true. Or sorry, yeah, true. And then running timer equal to false. And then just make sure that we're in chase mode. All right, so let's go through sort of exactly what would happen. So if the game is running and we have not completed our cycle of scatter mode. We are going to loop through this array. So because our index starts at zero, the first number is going to be referencing is seven. So let's go back to our update. It'll say add our time to our ghost mode timer. If our ghost mode timer is greater than seven, uh, because we are grabbing the zero index from ghost mode timers, um, then set it back to zero add one to our index. So now it will be referencing 20 once it runs our next update. Um, and then just reverse the current ghost mode to be whatever it isn't. And then if our index gets to the last element in the list, 
then we no longer are running our timer, so set completed timer to true, running timer to false, and current ghost mode back to chase. Then in our setup, what we're going to want to do is set completed timer to be false and running timer to be true. So now when we load up the game, ideally the ghosts will be in scatter mode and then in 7 seconds they will go into chase mode and then in 20 seconds they'll go back to scatter mode until the list is complete. So let's make sure this is working. So our index is currently at 0. You can see the ghosts are going into their scatter positions. 7 hit, they went into chase, so now they're going to start chasing Pac-Man. And then the second that it reaches 20, they... Oh, I forgot about the fact... Yeah, okay. That's my bad. So it does revert back to zero, which is good. So I'm going to fast forward this, but essentially I need to make sure that the ghosts don't hit me. I'm going to turn on, down the volume because I'm worried that it's picking up too much on your end. Okay, so we're about to hit 20 seconds. And you can see the ghosts going back to their scatter positions. But only for 7 seconds, now they're coming back to me. It would be a lot more obvious too if the ghosts were faster. Which luckily is just changing a variable, so we're going to do that soon. I'm just waiting until we get to the very last element in the list. I'm trying to watch the index while trying to avoid any ghosts. They're back in scatter. And now, okay, so now they're permanently in chase mode, and the timer you can see has stopped down here. Our timer is 0, our index is 7, and now our completed timer is true, our running timer is false. And if we complete the level, you should see everything get reset.